Hello everybody, I'm back and welcome back to another video where today is another discussion video because of the popularity the previous video has become the Kantai collection and versus the Azure Lane and so this is another video that maybe you guys might like I hope you guys will like it so anyway, today's video, the question that we're gonna be answering is should you watch Fate Studio Dean's 2016 version Fate Stay Night. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! Everybody just calm down! So not to be confused with Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works and then another Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works which is 2014. So there's, there's a lot of Fate universes and I think that many new people like me uh, will be very confused when they start watching the Fate universe and so the first question that everybody will come is should I watch Fate Stay Night 2016? and the short answer is as like the previous video it's personal preference honestly but to me my opinion is yes you should watch it and there's a lot of reasons why you should watch this 2016 and I'm gonna list down all these things and hopefully it will persuade you guys and yes I'll try to not do any spoilers because I've only just finished watching the 26 version and also I'm not a professional at this kind of topic because I've not finished the entire series I'm still at Fate Zero so this is just my opinion just the early opinion maybe it will help you guys I hope and so yeah so Fate Stay Night 2016 which is a anime adaption from Studio Deans of the Fate visual novel which is technically Fate Stay Night 2016 I'm gonna call it Fate 2016 um, it's basically a mix of these three different routes there are three routes three different pathways to where the story can go in this Fate Stay Night part and so there's the Fate route there is the Unlimited Blade Works route and there's also the Heaven's Feel, which I believe the new movie is uh, around the corner. And so now what we're going to talk is the 26th version. 2016? Wait a minute, I've been saying the wrong thing the whole time. The 20 2006 version. I've been saying the wrong one the whole time. <laughs> mm. Why should you watch uh, Fate Stay Night? 2006. Well, there's some points, there's some really good points to it. But one of the bad things I'm just gonna address it is the story I think is too short. I think the way that they develop the characters, it's, uh, it's a bit too short. It could have been longer, but it's honestly a personal preference whether you like a long character-driven storyline or you just want action, you know. A lot of people watch Fate for the action and yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. Okay, so animation is not great. It's okay for its time, 2006, mind you. And it's actually really, if you watch like one or two episodes, it will start to become like really, oh, it's it's okay, you know, that kind of thing. And yeah, that was for me. I Then I started to like the animation, even though it was old, and my brain told me like, yo, this, this is old, you should not be liking this, but I actually liked it. And the story-wise, I loved it. It was too short, but I loved it. It's amazing, the, the ending, every anime ending will give you this bittersweet moment. And that's for me, I had this bittersweet moment. I wish that it could just be longer. And next is the music, the soundtrack is, it's amazing. It's one of the best, even though I've watched, the only Fate series that i watched is the 2006, Fate Stay Night and uh, Unlimited Blade Works 2010, the movie and right now I'm watching Fate Zero and so far, Fate 2006 is the best, the best soundtrack of all I, I think nothing can beat the soundtrack because the studio really put a lot of effort into making the soundtrack and I think that is honestly the best thing about this adaptation Let's listen to this
Fate 2006 is something you should definitely watch. Whether you have finished the whole Fate series or you're just a new beginner, I think that you should watch this amazing TV series. It's the first show that brought all the, the fans into the show. Maybe you know some visual novel uh, people that read the visual novel, they may say that this adaptation sucks. But I think me, um, no. It's, it's amazing, you should watch it. It's really a personal preference, but in my opinion, I think you should watch it. Because this 2006 version is the version that brought the other versions in. I mean, it's like watching Star Wars, you know? You don't watch episode 1, 2, 3 first, right? You watch episode 4, 5, 6, because it will ruin the whole story of the previous like movies, you know, in, in this example, like for Fate, it's the same thing. It's like, you can't watch chronologically because it will ruin the other shows. You should watch it, in my opinion, you should watch it in the time, in the time it was released. That is the best way to watch it because you get to step into this, like, this world. Except for, for, for Car Carnival Phantasm, <laughs> don't watch that. Leave that for the last. You will definitely love it when you watch it the last because you won't get all the references that it's showing. So so yeah, that is a, it's a pretty short video discussion. I heard that you guys really love the previous one, which was Kantai Collection versus Azure Lane. Those kind of discussion videos, I got a lot of likes and a lot of comments about your own opinions. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed that video and also this video. So don't forget to leave a like. Uh, to subscribe and also leave your opinion would you watch or have you watched Fate Stay Night 2006 so I hope you guys enjoy your day and as always I will see you on the flip side goodbye